Hello, my name is Arjen of the Green Ash Seed Company. And I'm Franco. And we are here with a great white rhino, one of my favorite plants, a lot of medicinal value used by a lot of patients in the world. Uh, the genetics of this plant is Afghani, South Indian and Brazil. Big winner of many, many cups around the world, especially Spain won the Cannabis Cup. It won the Cannabis Cup with the high times. Uh, it's a beautiful, short, fat indica. It has big, big, tight buds. And uh, you will see the development as we go on, eh, Frank? Yes, it's a very nice plant for uh, indica lovers. Very narcotic type of effect. The smoke is sweet, very fruity, very flowery. And uh, the effect very long lasting. It puts you to sleep and it keeps you there. And uh, we can see that here we are performing a test between a hydro and a soil grow. Both of these clones were cut 28 days ago. They've uh, rooted for 14 days, and now they've been 14 days growing in these three liters containers. Um, they will be repotted soon in bigger containers. And we can see from the measurement that we perf perform that already it's a different kind of development. The hydro is thicker, faster, bigger. For the hydro, we use 201 NPK. The room temperature will be 26, 27. The humidity we keep between 60 and 70, also a little bit higher because these are young plants. And the water temperature we keep on 22 degrees. Hello, we are here with the white rhino in week one, day seven of the flowering period. Uh, we also here changed the nutrients into a flowering combination, one to one NPK ratio. Also the EC is up to 1.8 now in week one of flowering. The humidity is a little bit down, 60-65%. And the temperature of the room stays until 26-27 degrees Celsius. And now you really can see the difference in the nutrients that we use between the hydroponics and the organics, Frank. Definitely, this plant is only receiving water. And you can see amazingly development for the hydro white rhino. It went from 19 to 40 centimeter tall. That's 2.1 centimeter a day for the last 10 days. The leaf from 14 and a half to 21 long and 5.8 centimeter thick in the leaflet. Look at this leaflet. It's like, it's, it's really <laughs> overdeveloped, I would say. For the data of the soil, we can uh, appreciate just an increase of 19 centimeter. It's now 34 centimeter tall, and the leaf just went from 10 to 13 centimeter long. So we can see that at this stage of the development, it's pretty much hydro winds, no discussion. See you in week two of flowering. Hello, we are here in day 14 with the white rhino. NPK micro ratio, one, two, two. Humidity in the room, 55 to 60%. Room temperature, 26. Now, the lamp we use is the 600 HPS, the high pressure sodium, and we can see the first flowers develop now. Absolutely. The white rhino is one of my favorite indicas. And a few measures about the white rhino. The difference between the soil and the hydroponic is uh, still massive. The hydroponic plant uh, stretched 16 centimeters in the last seven days from uh, 40 to 56, while the organically grown plant in soil which is not receiving any feeding, I want to remind, went from 35 to 46, just 11 centimeters up. The leaf development is pretty much steady at the moment, 21 centimeter long last week and 21 centimeter long this week for the white rhino. Um, we can see the width of the leaf from 5.8 going to 6.6, .6, getting really, really indica wide at the moment, full overlapping. So beautiful plant, the white rhino, great development. And the flowers really are developing properly. Yeah, they're popping up now. And see you back in day 21 of the flowering period with the white rhino. Hello, we are here with the white rhino in day 21 of the flowering period. Every plant now realizes that she has to start producing flowers because of the photo period of 12 hours. We from Green House Seed Company are going to show you the trick how to blow up your plant and get the maximum yield. After day 16 of the flowering period, we have flushed the plant with a light solution of 1.3 EC and 60 liters of water. And then dried her out for five days, so get maximum oxygen to the roots. Now we're going to feed her with 1.8 EC solution and make sure she's going to blow up and produce the maximum amount of flowers. Absolutely. And the white rhino is one of the hardest, most compact nugs in our collection. Yes, by far. Really nice uh, growth still for the white rhino. In the last seven days, she went up 16 centimeters. Nice and round, bushy structure. She's now a total of 73 centimeters tall. 
And the organically grown white rhino in soil with no fertilizer is just 56 centimeters tall. You can see that the bud development is very uniform. And wow, what branching also, amazing. See you back at day 28 of the flowering period with the white rhino. Hello, we are here in day 28 with the white rhino. One of the most important days and weeks, because between week two and six, the plant has to explode and produce all its flowers. So again, it's important to flush one more time to make sure a lot of oxygen goes to the roots. And also, this week, we're gonna do something really special and Frank is gonna tell you all about it. Absolutely, we have a great surprise for you. And we are very, very proud to announce that we are now testing the complete turpin range, so over 60 turpins in the plants. And we are testing for five different cannabinoids, Delta-9 THC, Delta-8 THC, CBD, CBG, and CBN. And at this moment, after four weeks of flowering, the white rhino in hydroponic is boosting a full 7.97% Delta-9 THC. See you back in day 35 with the white rhino. Hello, we are here in day 35 with the white rhino. This is the moment to check all the values in your room. Make sure your humidity is between 45 and 55%. Make sure your temperature is a minimum of 20 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 27 degrees Celsius. Also make sure that you move your air in the room a little bit so you don't get any stealth air around the leaves and exchange the air a few times an hour. Now, we have flushed the plant two times and after that we have dried out the plant for four or five days so make sure a lot of oxygen goes through the root system. We're going to flush the plant one more time next week and then you can see the beautiful build-up of the flowers now, Frank. Absolutely. The white rhino is uh, really producing now, both flower-wise and resin-wise. She's really getting coated. I can see already the first red hairs there and there, really maturing fast. And we can still see a very big difference between the organically grown plant with no fertilizer and the hydroponically grown plant. Although in the final stages, we are giving a little bit of organic flowering booster just to let the resin catch up on this side. Hello, we are here in day 42, the beginning of week seven with the famous white rhino. We have flushed this plant for three times now and I'm gonna show you how light it gets after the flushing. As you can see, very light, only seven to 10 kilos. And for a container of 65 liters, that's normally 40 to 60 kilos. This is very, very light. It is really, really important in the life of an indica plant between week two and week six of the flowering period to flush it a few times and then to let it dry out totally. Oxygen goes to the roots. At the same time, we lower the humidity in the room to 30 to 45 percent. Make sure the metabolism of the plant goes really, really fast and then all the flowers start producing and the crystals are popping up, Frank. Yes, and here when I smell, I can feel already the full complexity of the turpins. This is one of my favorite indica smells personally. It comes straight from the Afghan and the white widow and you smell both of them so nice. It's amazing. Also, a few data for the white rhino. In our comparison test between the hydro and the organic soil, we see not much different in the THC production at the moment. After 42 days, the hydro side is at 14%, 14.1 to be exact, while the soil side is at 13.9. So just 0.2% difference in THC. The other cannabinoid in the white rhino, we have a 0.1% CBD, a 0.3% CBG, and a 0.1% CBN. So the famous narcotic effect of this plant is produced not just by this tree, but by the integration and interaction and symbiosis between many, many, many more cannabinoids. What a special plant. And every plant we're taking a lot of pictures every week, especially our unique macro pictures. Have a look at them. You can see the beautiful buildup of the structure of the crystals. See you back at day 49 with the white rhino. Hello, we are here in day 49 with the white rhino and the flowers are closing beautiful big nuggets everywhere eh? absolutely still probably a couple of good weeks to go but hey what a smell already the afghan gives it this really pungent indica smell sweet in the background what a bouquet the white rhino what a production is going to be for the last two weeks it's going to be flushed very very good with a very mild solution one that drags away all the microparticles of feeding left in the medium all the salts 
to guarantee that the harvest produces a very, very high grade bud with just the full terpene profile, cannabinoid profile, nothing else. Hello, we are here at day 56, the beginning of week 9 with the famous white rhino. And make sure now you tie up the nuggets because they're going to get long and heavy on this indica plant. Use a bumble or use yo-yos or use a corp or tie rips, whatever, to hold this massive buds, eh, Frank? Definitely. The weight is there. They're getting really tight and compact. It smells already beautiful. From the lab, a few uh, data analysis. THC content after 56 day flowering, it's 18.94% on the white rhino. CBD at 0.22%. CBG is 0.39 and a very low CBN at 0.1%. See you back at day 63 with the white rhino. Hello, we are here at day 63, exactly nine weeks, harvest day with the white rhino. Very, very quickly for this plant. In the catalog it says nine to 11 weeks. If your room is in optimum condition and you use the greenhouse growing techniques, you can do it in nine weeks. If your room is not in an optimum condition, you have to go one or two weeks longer. That's why in the catalog it says 9 to 11 weeks. We're going to tell you all about the manicuring of a plant and later about the curing. But what a beautiful nuggets came out of this fabulous plant. Eh, the white rhino is uh, never a disappointment. No. Such a huge production, really nice with the Afghan smell in it. Beautiful. First take off the big leaves and then Get you go to the it. small leaves. Make some room in the jungle. And we have to underline the importance of our flush treatment for the last seven days in the life of this plant. As we do for all our genetics, one week before harvest, we really flush it through two times. First with a mild solution, and then we just clear water. And by doing that, we remove every single small particle of fertilizer that can be left in your medium. White rhino, nine weeks of flowering, greenhouse seed company. The organically grown white rhino, the stems and leaves, 135 grams. And the organically grown flowers of the white rhino, 385 grams. And when it comes to the hydroponics, the stems and leaves are 240. And the buds, a lot more than that. Wow. 960. That's incredible. Now, the most important part comes, the drying and the curing. Dry, preferable in a humid control room, two to three weeks, very, very slowly. Then put it in paper bags under eight to 10 degrees Celsius and leave it there for three to five months. All the chlorophyll and other particles will go out and it will have the best taste ever. Most important thing for the greenhouse seed company is the taste. White rhino. Hello, I'm Arjen of the Green Seed Company. And I'm Frank. And we are here with the dry material of the white rhino. The soil plant, 58 grams. And the hydro plant, 144 grams.